welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and this week I am finishing out the different flavors of the wine spritzers that I bought just for you guys. Our last one is a blood orange sangria. I honestly, I'm not a super huge fan of these wine spritzers. They kind of taste like alcoholic sparkling water, which I am also not a fan of. But they're kind of nice and light, and so I guess I wouldn't rule them out as far as like a future summer drink. My younger sister Dana, who has painted with us before, sent me an idea, and it is an idea that I have seen across a few platforms like Facebook and Pinterest, and I was kind of hesitant about it. She has pets, I have pets, they're both cats, and so I decided to go ahead and give it a try. This week, the cats are going to be painting. <laughs> Not that we're doing paintings of the cats, or stencils, or even the cross stitch. The cats are kind of going to be painting their own pieces of art. <laughs> so if that is intriguing to you, which hopefully it is, please continue watching. So yes, I did say that correctly, the cats are going to be doing their own paintings. The idea is that I'm going to take a tiny canvas, put some paint all on it, put it inside of a plastic bag, and then cover the plastic bag and canvas with treats. And therefore, as the cats are licking up the treats, they will move the paint around and kind of be painting their own piece of art. I have kind of a like a gravy mixture with some chicken pieces in it, so hopefully the action of them licking it up We'll move the paint around and make something unique. I wanted to give you guys as much information as possible up front because once we involve the cats you have to move swiftly and quickly with zero hesitation or it might scare them away. Anyone with cats understands the struggle. For our older cat Ozzy we decided that his painting needs to have some kind of gray in it so his colors are going to be white gray and then a bright green for his eyes. Stevie, our little black kitten, clearly had to have a black canvas, so she's going to have black and then some purple and maybe like a magenta color to match her collar. I'm basically going to be kind of dripping the paint on at random before I put it in the bag and the rest is going to be up to the cats. canvases are dry and I did throw a gloss top coat on just for the hell of it, 
but I have a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you guys about first. In theory, this whole technique of painting sounded really cool to be able to put the canvas and the paint and everything in a bag to keep safe from your pets, but also allow them to kind of create their own piece of artwork. However, when it came time to remove the canvas, the canvas and the paint and the bag were all pretty stuck together. So when I removed it, a lot of the paint stayed behind in the bag. So I was really bummed because what looked like a super cool painting ended up turning out totally different. So I did have to make quite a few modifications to each of the canvases after removing them from the bag. So they are not 100% made by my pets, but the concept is cool. This is the canvas that Ozzy made that had the green, white, and gray. He does have a couple of cells in there throughout the paint. Stevie's piece ended up drying pretty dark. The colors are not as vibrant as they were originally, and I had to modify hers a bit more than Ozzy's. But the idea is cool. Both of these were about 90% made by my pets. Even though there's not a lot to them, I will still show you guys some up close shots in the natural light. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to leave a like and even subscribe to the channel. There's a whole bunch of stuff in my description box below for my Instagram, my Facebook, and my PayPal, as well as a list of all the materials we used in this week's video, minus the pets. I'll see you all for the next video. Cheers.